What is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me Spirit. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. If you guys hit the thumbs up like button, that'd mean the world to me. A thousand likes and I'll give each and every one of you a kiss on the forehead. If you're into that kind of stuff. But today, I'm here to bring you guys a super informational video because I get tons of tweets every single day asking why I buy so many advanced supply drops. If you, if it's worth the money and if you guys should buy them. And hopefully, what today's video will do is not really, you know me tell you yes or no it's worth it but I'm more here to tell you the information to kind of make the decision on your own if you think it's worth it or not to buy advanced supply jobs so without further ado let's get right into the facts now the first chart they're gonna be seeing on your screen right now will kind of show the percentages of getting guns and gear out of advanced supply drops and normal supply drops so you're gonna be noticed noticing that their advanced supply drops and normal supply drops both have a 35% chance of the items on the inside of advanced supply drops and normal supply drops being a weapon. Now, the thing that gives the advanced supply drop kind of the upper leg here, even though they both have equal percentages, is that you are guaranteed at least one gun out of every single advanced supply drop. So whether it's enlisted, professional, or elite, but um, kind of why it's a 35% instead of 100% is that it was only one third of the of the items on the inside of the advanced supply drops and if it was a hundred percent that means all three of the items on the inside of the advanced supply drop would be a, a, a weapon and that kind of had me kind of confused at first because I was thinking to myself you know if you get it if you're guaranteed one weapon wouldn't that be a hundred percent but then I just realized that was a major brain fart and I was just being an absolute idiot for thinking that but um, the gear you actually have a smaller percent chance of getting gear out of a normal supply drop then you do it out of an advanced supply drop but you actually think about it and the advanced supply drop you actually aren't allowed to get reinforcements if you guys don't know what reinforcements are uh, it's the care package thing where if you get like an elite one you can call in a care package six minutes into the game and it'll give you like a perk or kill streak or something like that so um, thankfully you aren't allowed to get those out of the advanced supply drop because I don't really see much use to them um, and if I want that I can open a normal supply drop and pretty much get a guaranteed reinforcement every single time so you know there's not really too much of a difference in normal supply drops and advanced supply drops and just looking at the percentages of guns and gear but I think once we start looking at the actual elite percentages that's when things start to get really interesting now I know one of the main reasons I started investing in advanced supply drops and opening them and doing like so many advanced supply drop openings and everything like that was the hunt for great elite weapons you know like that's what I really wanted uh, you know at the end of the day all I wanted was an HBR A3 Insanity Obs or Obsidian Steed which I did end up getting which was awesome but you know that I thought the advanced supply drops gave me such like a, a higher chance of getting it but after kind of doing the research for this and acquiring all the information I decided that wasn't necessarily true so out of a normal supply drop there is a five percent chance of getting an elite weapon you know whether it's a secondary a primary an obsidian steed um, you know some elite stinger or something like that like it's all a five percent chance of getting an elite weapon out of a normal supply drop now here's here's the kicker okay here's the mind blower the chance of getting an elite weapon out of an advanced supply drop is also five percent so that kind of makes it extremely um, you know, like on paper it doesn't look like that advanced supply drop is worth it you know it definitely doesn't look like um, you know they're both five percent chances so you would think why even buy advanced supply drops when I can just play the game and earn supply drops the legit way and still have the exact same chance of getting an elite weapon so on paper you know advanced supply drops and normal supply drops the probabilities are still pretty much the same but if you break it down a little bit further and look how the information was actually gathered advanced supply drops will actually give you more elite weapons and let me give you an example why so if you were to open a hundred normal supply drops and a hundred advanced supply drops you will probably only get you know you the five percent chance of elite items you know that will give you like five elite guns hypothetically okay but if you open a hundred advanced supply drops you have a guaranteed three items out of that out of the 100 advanced supply drop open to its turns that five elite guns to 15 elite guns really really quick 
and it's just all about you know just looking at the data and you just you get way 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 more items from advanced supply drops than you do at a normal supply drops even though the probability is still the same but you know it's kind of like rolling the dice once with a normal supply drop and rolling the dice like three times out of an advanced supply drop you know your odds are definitely better because there are more items to be won and more items to be had because it get, you get at least three items every single time and at least one weapon variant and at least one thing that's professional is better so i do hope you guys enjoy this video i do hope it also made sense to you guys i know i kind of covered a lot of stuff a lot of math and uh, just a lot of like explaining that i did in this video and i apologize if any of it was hard to follow go ahead and comment down below if you have any like questions or critiques or anything like that be more than happy to reply to some of your guys' comments and you know hopefully explain it a little bit better so i do hope you guys enjoyed today's video like i said a thousand likes make my day subscribe if you guys are new and enjoy supply drops and advanced warfare as much as i do have a fantastic day everybody i hope i helped make your decision if you should buy advanced supply drops that much easier i'll see you guys in the video soon peace out